somebody who had been taught atheism and had been told no god no power no miracle he said i was sure there that they are telling lies to these people no miracle no power and so what he did he went to look for somebody who had been paralyzed for 25 years hands paralyzed feet paralyzed helpless impotent and could not make any move at all and then put that woman at the door that and it's just that one door there everybody going out out of the meeting that day will see the paralyzed woman there and then they'll be warning but they say god is a god of miracles a god of power and the prince of power and the prince of peace why is this one there welcome to this week edition of Pastor Kumuyi's story. As you are watching, you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Now we have a church in Moscow, Russia. At that time, when I was invited there, we had no church, no member, no believer in Russia. And then we didn't use a church building, we used a parliamentary building. And that building is where they have been gathering people together for 70 years and they have been telling people, no God, no God, no God. And then the people of Russia, the Pentecostal Union of Russia, they invited me and we went there and it was a parliamentary building we used i didn't hear the language and most of them did not understand the english i was speaking by an interpreter and then somebody who had been taught atheism and had been told no god no power no miracle he said i was sure there that they are telling lies to these people no miracle no power and so what he did he went to look for somebody who had been paralyzed for 25 years hands paralyzed feet paralyzed helpless impotent and could not make any move at all and then put that woman at the door that and it's just that one door there everybody going out out of the meeting that day will see the paralyzed woman there and then they'll be warning but they say god is a god of miracles a god of power and the prince of power and the prince of peace why is this one there we mention the name of jesus somebody shout jesus, jesus. and that woman was there helpless paralyzed could not take any any move at all and then we prayed after the prayer come and see miracle 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 and so all the people they clapped they rejoiced they had flowers they threw flowers on me they put flowers in my pocket they put flowers in my hand and i was full of flowers praise the lord but the problem that woman paralyzed 25 years was still there and we then said the final grace and we said the meeting is over and as the people were walking out and it looked at that woman 25 years paralyzed and she looked at them power came unto her she rose up she began to walk and great great pandemonium of miracle happening there and i didn't know about it but the people there pentecostal union of russia in moscow the moscow branch they invited me back that happened in june they invited me back in october and then i was introduced i was holding the mic and i was starting to preach i'd not really started but just introducing the message and somebody from the back of the hall the same parliamentary building rose up 
and then was walking I was surprised I said why what are the ushers doing why is it they allow this woman to just be coming there's insecurity here and then she climbed the stage I was wondering I kept on talking because you must not show that you know they are wondering about something and then she came to me while I was preaching and she didn't say excuse me sir she just stretched her hand and took the microphone from me I said today is today and then she started talking she said you people here you know me I was paralyzed for 25 years and when this pastor came four months ago in June the people were passing I got up and since then I have been walking and he gave the testimony and then when the people heard they knew that something good was about to happen to them and as you have heard you know something good is about to happen to you because that Christ is still alive that Jesus is still alive I believe you have been blessed from this story please share to bless others and watch out same time next week for another edition you are blessed in Jesus' name.